Ladies, have we progressed? 1920s to 2020s. Do tell me, Alice, how was your afternoon with Edmund? Mother said I shouldn't go without a chaperone to meet Edmund. But I said, Mama, it is the 1920s. Everybody does it. Mummy didn't want me to bring some random bloke I'd never met off an app into the house. But I said, Mummy, it's the 2020s. Everyone does it. Mine said that, and I told her to sh. Yeah. Have you heard about the latest beauty treatment? It's called Radior, and it contains radiation. It makes your skin radiate. Oh, is it all right for your health? Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Have you seen this new beauty treatment? It uses radio waves to make your skin radiate. <laughs> oh, is it all right for your health? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, how are the wedding plans going, Violet? Well, splendidly, except the marriage certificate bothers me slightly. How only the bride's father's name is allowed on it and not mother's. I think it's old-fashioned for the 1920s. With the way things are going, I'm sure things will change soon. Finally, got that new thing on the marriage certificate that allows mum's name to be on it. Oh, yeah. I heard about that bill being passed for the 2020s. Shame about your mum's name, though, being Fanny Lumpus. You know, darling, small lips are the most beautiful. It's a fact. You know, babe, big lips are the most attractive. It's a fact. Teeny, tiny, delicate, peckers. Big, bulbous, juicy. Snoggers. If your body isn't shaped like this, then you are not beautiful. It's the objective truth. If your body doesn't look like this, then you're not beautiful. It's the objective truth. I wish I could flatten my chest with an iron. I mean, I wish I could suck my boobs out with a hoover. What's in the mirror today, Violet? Oh, the same old tosh, Irish border. Ugh, same old shite, post-Brexit. Living with the consequences of the Spanish flu. Living with the consequences of the coronavirus. This is interesting. The Football Association has out Lord women from playing on its pitches, on the grounds that football is unsuitable for females. Well, women don't have the same physical prowess as men do. Look, the gender pay gap for the FIFA World Cup is 300 million pounds. Well, women don't have big muscles, do they? So that's the reason? Oh. I am shocked that I haven't received my invitation to the Trocadero. The 25 guinea best dress prize would have been divine. Well, I hate to break it to you, Alice, but I've been invited. You see, you need to get yourself a Caroline Rebeu hat. Without it, you have no social status. I am livid that Georgia hasn't sent me a Facebook invite to her party tonight. I even bought that waist straining thing to suck in my muffin top. You know, you need more Instagram followers. That's how you get social status. Oh. I heard that Emily is thinking of doing a degree at Oxford. That is so masculine. Oh, <gasps> Gossip. Emily is thinking of becoming a firefighter. That is so masculine. You know, you are one of the only women I know that can actually vote. You're over 30 and you have property. Well, it is very rare and empowering. You're the only woman I know who could be bothered to vote. Oh, it's only because it was on the way to get Siggy's. Darling, I've learnt a new dance for my beau. <laughs> Hit it, maestro. Isn't it saucy? Right! I can see your knees! Babe, I've learnt this new dance move for my man. Turn it up.
Violet, I can see your labia. Isn't it hard? <laughs>